Contract? Contract? Come on, you know you want to give me a contract. Yep, so this week I decided to do a hat inspired by Kyubei from Puella Magica. Yes, he even has the very long ear tufts and a very nice pink gradient at the bottom along with his gems. And because his ear tufts are so long, I personally like to wrap them around myself like they are a scarf. Which also creates a very nice decoration with his gems and keeps you super warm because this hat is made out of flannel and so is nice and fuzzy and warm. And yes, you secretly do steal people's souls. So for this week, here's what you need. All of the patterns, there will be links in the description. A large disposable container, I use my own spinach container. Sewing machine with matching thread. Sharp scissors. Six red oval gems. So many pins. Pink dye, I like tulip one step. A yard and a half of white flannel. A half a yard of pink flannel. Once you've cut out all of your pieces, you're going to want to take what I have dubbed the ear tufts and pin two layers together, being careful to be very exact around those fingery bits at the end. Then, sew all the way around them using a half inch of seam allowance. After you've done that to both ear tufts, you're going to want to go around with a pair of scissors and cut relief cuts anywhere where it's curved, being careful to cut through the fabric, but not through any of those threads. This is so everything lays nice and flat when we turn it right side out. Speaking of which, go ahead and start turning it right side out. I just reach inside and grab some, and then for the last bits, those fingery bits, I just grab a pencil that is dull so it doesn't have a sharpened tip, and just kind of poke it through, being careful to try and pull as much out as you can without breaking any of those threads. Just kind of keep poking and pulling gently, and it'll eventually come through. Once you've turned both ear tufts right side out, put them in a bowl and then pour water on top. You want there to be just enough water to go over and then push it around, then leave them in there for 15 minutes. While waiting for your ear tufts to soak, go ahead and take the cap part, of which you're going to actually cut out eight pieces for, and then split them up into pairs. So you're going to have four pairs and make sure you pin one side of each pairs together and then sew down with a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Now that your pairs have been sewn together, you're going to want to take two pairs, set them aside, and the other two pairs, and then set them on top of each other, right sides together, or just seams on the outside. Then go ahead and start pinning them together. Now the important thing to note is that you actually want to leave a rather large hole in the center, enough for you to get your hands through, because eventually we're going to be flipping the entire hat through that hole. So pin most of the way, but leave a nice hole. It should look something like this when you've sewn through it. Now take your ear tufts out of the water. Then take your tulip one step dye, fill it up with water, and shake that container until all the powder has dissolved. Now you want to set up your dye area to look something like this so that the ends of the ear tufts are just hanging into your disposable container. Take the disposable container, put some water in, and then pour your dye in, and then pour in even more water. You want this diluted. Then put the very ends of your tufts in and leave it for 15 minutes. Then move them a little further down and leave for 15 minutes. Then move the ear tufts even farther down and leave it for another 15 minutes. Then take them out, wrap them up in saran wrap or grocery bags and leave them for four hours. Once that's up, rinse them with cold water until the water runs clear. While waiting, let's work on those ears. Take your ear fold and put it with its matching color ear and pin together. Do this for all four ears, so two white and two pink. Once you've done that, cut relief cuts on each of those ears. That means cutting triangles and then proceeding to cut down the side so it's very, very short. Then you want to take your ears and turn your pink right side out and your white wrong side out and then pin the sides together, making sure to tuck that seam allowance on either side when you get to the very top of the ear. Then sew down the whole thing with a half inch seam allowance. Once you've done that to both ears, go ahead and cut relief cuts on that long seam the same way you did on that shorter seam. Make sure you cut the triangles and then cut it really short. Then flip the ears right side out and iron the edges as flat as you can possibly get them. You're going to have to leave it open for that. Then once they look nice and pretty, fold the ear flap on and then iron it again to make sure everything stays put. Now return to the two pairs of skull cap bits that we put aside and pin the rectangle, so the headband, onto the bottom of each of the pairs and sew with a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Now take the ears and starting at the bottom where the headband and the cap join parts, start pinning the ears up, curving the ears as you go along to match the top of the cap, being sure to not pin the flap, leave that open, then sew with a quarter of an inch seam allowance. 
Now, at this point, you need your ear tufts to be dry, so make sure you hang them up once the water runs clear so that they're dry. Now, take the half of the hat that you sewed the ears to and start tucking the ear tufts inside so that they run parallel to the headband. Once you have the ear tufts laying even in both ears and parallel to the headband, go ahead and take the other half of the hat and start pinning it on, sandwiching the ears with the ear flap folded and the ear tufts between the two caps. It might seem a little tricky at first, but I swear to you, it is totally possible. Just make sure that those ear tufts are not coming out of the headband seam. You want that to just be the two layers of fabric, and there is enough room for the ear tufts to come completely out of the cap. Now just go ahead and take your scissors and trim all around that seam allowance, making sure especially to trim those ear tufts because they're way too long. Once it's all trimmed, you're going to want to take that cap piece that we showed that still has a giant hole in the top and start feeding the entirety of the hat through that hole until the bottoms match up. Then go ahead and pin the inner cap to that headband, being sure to make it all nice and even and make sure there aren't going to be any pleats anywhere. Once you've sewn it together with a quarter of an inch seam allowance, go ahead and flip the whole thing right side out, fold under the seam allowance in that hole in the inner cap, and pin it together sewing again as close to the edge as you possibly can. Then just go ahead and flip the inner cap inside of the outer hat, making sure that everything lays nice and even. Then just take your six red gems and glue them onto the bottom of Cubase ear tufts, making them match approximately with the fingery bits at the bottom. Then you're ready to go grant wishes! and make the world a better place by being your adorable cute self that asks for contracts all the time and may or may not take people's souls. But you're just so cute!